www.newtoboss.com. This is Ty. Still, this is a part of the video tutorial series that I'm creating for an Encore Ethernet broadband router, ENRTR-104, a CDR King retail router. On this video, I'm on a part that I would show to you and how you can disable the firewall on your uh, broadband router. Sometimes you would need to disable firewall for the reason that you're trying to create app, I mean, make use of applications. You'd want it to get through to a public network so somebody can access that. Like if you're serving, uh, I mean, if you're hosting a website through a local IP, and also if you're hosting a radio station probably over the internet, and port forward, if it doesn't work sometimes, would also require you to, uh, alongside, disable the firewall. So how you do that, bring up your Firefox from here, you have to access your uh, Router 192.168.10.1. This is the default IP address of an Encore ENRTR 104. If you can't access any page, if you can't get through to the authentication page, you might need to re verify and change or try to make way on how you could access the gateway. We have a separate tutorial for that. Please do check that out from the list of the videos that we have. From here, you have to type in admin for the username and password is 1234 but I type that differently I have a different username I've got noodle the password you can type in 12345 click on OK it should log you in again default is admin 1234 sometimes admin and blank password it would let you log in so from here the purpose of this tutorial is only to show you and how you could disable the firewall and also think of that if you did disable then you know how to enable that back so look up on uh, the tabs that you have right on top click on firewall you got firewall settings right here so you have uh, four options actually firewall options client filtering URL filtering and Mac control uh, first I would want to show you Mac control um, if you would want to enable this Mac address control click on enable then you could say filter out you say accept. Um, to filter out, you could type in the MAC address of a specific device. Let's say maybe you would want to have somebody in your home that you don't want to access internet to. You could say filter out or reject. Then try to look for the MAC address of his notebook or his or her device and type that in here and then click on OK. It's going to reject that. Right? It's not going to get any internet from your router. Also, um, if you click on accept, this is the only MAC address that you'd want to take in or let internet flow. Uh, you could add right there if you did input something here. So another URL filtering. So from here, you want to type in the URL that you'd want to filter. Enable URL filter. You don't want this URL or this IP addresses or uh, www.something. Or domain not something not com. Don't want that to get through to your router. Also, click on OK, and you filter that. You got client filtering. From here, you'd be enabling client filter if you'd be blocking that on a UDP and TCP public ports. But um, you don't usually filter this out since uh, again you're trying to free your firewall. So from here, you don't want to enable that. So go back to firewall options right on top, and you got uh, settings right here. Uh, with some of the routers like D-Links and Linksys, you don't have such long options like this. You just have to check on something, enable firewall, and you can enable that. But here, you might want to run all these uh, phrases first before you can click on OK. Enable hacker attack protect. Yes, you want to do that. Ping. No. Unallow ping. No. Drop port scan packets. No. Allow to scan. No. Discard. Accept. Okay. So from here, what you're going to do is you're going to disable all these for now. If you really can't uh, make way or let your application get through your private network out to a public network. So click on OK from there. But remember, if you disable this firewall options right here, then you're vulnerable 
to uh, to hackers probably or to people who might want to access through your uh, network so that's again the use of a firewall to somehow protect your network but if you're really are in need to risk that out somehow then you could do so it's all up to you again this tutorial is only to share to you and how you get through to this firewall option and make changes I'm going to be making another video tutorial for this on some of the functions of an ENRTR Encore broadband router. Again, for some other video tutorials, please do subscribe on our channel, uh, youtube.com slash nudaworks. And on our website, please do visit that, www.nudaboss.com. Again, my name is Ty. Thanks for watching.